Hello everyone and welcome back to all the mod 7 to the sky now from right here where we're standing the base looks pretty nice You know, I mean arguably this is pretty ugly especially you know what now that we have like jetpacks and stuff We can probably finally get rid of this little staircase and and you know now, now things I feel like look pretty decent re Realistically, especially this cool controller we have in the ground. Yes the last episode we made a bigger controller which is cool in itself but we didn't stop there, sadly. <laughs> sadly, accompanying this uh, controller is this, okay? Now, this wouldn't be too bad if it worked. So, so, so what we're looking at here is a mess, um, to say the least. Um, to say a little bit more, it's a peer-to-peer mess, or, or a peer-to-peer -peer mess. I keep calling them peer-to-peer -peer because I, I'm pretty sure that's like an actual term. Uh, I, I don't know if that, they're the same thing, but the peer-to-peer -peer tunnels, they're, they're messy because I don't know how to use them. So I'll tell you what, for starters, we're going to pick them up. I'll, I'll, uh, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I'm going to give it one more attempt, probably majority of it off camera. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to scrap it. Okay. Because it, it doesn't seem worth it, especially since I don't fully grasp it. You know what I mean? So if I can figure it out this episode, beautiful, wonderful. I, I doubt I can. I'll, I'll say that at the least. Um, but I am also hopeful. I, I, I think we might be able to pull something. <laughs> pull something out of thin air. So I'm just going to essentially pick up everything I did in the last episode because it works, but it doesn't work the way it's meant to work. So it doesn't work in other words. Um, but, but it's fine. I reckon, I reckon we can make it work. Okay. Tr 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 trust me. Oh God. Oh, what did I do? He oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry that you guys had to watch that episode. Uh, listen, 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 I'll make it up to you. We're, we're going to give this an attempt. If we can get it to work. Wonderful. If we can't, I'll, I'll find something else to do. There's, there's plenty to do in this pack. Okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, okay, okay. so we'll, we'll do a little bit because I, I'll try and run this down the way that I think that it works, okay? Um, now, listen, take everything I say with like a gallon of salt, okay? Not a grain of salt, a gallon of salt because, it, listen, listen, I clearly don't know what I'm talking about, but I mean, a lot of these mods we jump into, I, I don't know what I'm talking about until we give it a shot. So I, I really want to just like try and tap into this and figure out how it works. I think the main thing we need at the moment, <laughs> it's probably not, but is more colored cables. Like what, what we did is we have these dense cables, obviously. I'm pretty sure we want just normal cables, just little cables colored. I think that's part of the issue that we had here. So for example, we do have some small cables here. I'm going to run them pretty much what we had before. We had these small cables here. Um, wait, wait, I think, hold on. <laughs> I've already lost. I, I'm pretty sure you can place the tunnels on the side of the controller, but then we want to connect these small uh, cables to them. So for example, we could use uh, you know, these cables. Currently they're offline. I'm pretty sure we need to give them some uh, power. I'm pretty sure we still need to do that. Um, so that can be done with an energy acceptor. So if we go ahead and try and craft one of these guys, should be pretty simple to make. We can get him. He can set Realistically, you can probably sit here. That should be fine. Um, so this guy will also have an energy cell. So one of these dense energy cells. He can sit here. Um, we'll obviously put an ender gate on this guy to power him. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm talking with confidence as if I know this is going to work. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Um, we've got our quartz fiber. So this will allow us to connect um, cables that don't transfer any, I guess, network with them. So we'll have to be a little bit careful with... To be honest with, yeah, with how we put this stuff. <laughs> because... I, Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm still... Hold on, hold on. I've got pictures this time. I've got some pictures to consult. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I've got this energy cell connected here. And as you can see, they're actually online. In fact, these over here, the actual P2P tunnels, they're online as well. So, so far, so good. Th this is all I guess we have to do. That's all we have to do. Um, this guy obviously still needs, you know, power. So we'll hook him up just like we did before um, with this stuff. And this can even sit on top, I guess. Awesome. So this guy's powered. He's good. These guys are running. Awesome. So from here, I'll be honest, I think we want more and more of these cables. Now, they don't all have to be smart cables, but I guess the benefit of the smart cable is that um, it's pretty much just the other cable with some glowstone and redstone. And we should have an infinite of that. So it's sort of sort of just a win, I guess. Um, now, it looks as though you have to, um, what do you call it? Yeah. Oh, you actually, you dye the cables? Is that what you do? Yeah, you dye the smart cable. So we probably want a bunch of smart cables and then we'll just dye them. Now, realistically, in the perfect world, I auto craft them. In this world, I don't have my system hooked up, so we can't really do that. But I'll tell you what, we probably should try to do that reasonably uh, re reasonably as quick as possible. So what I'll do for now is we'll, we'll pretty much keep things somewhat disconnected. So I'll run these cables um, along the top here. We've got this pipe. I want to move it around, but once again, I don't have the pipes on me, so we're just going to have to do it this old-fashioned way. Um, so I'll bring that stuff around. So all of these... Um, 
you know, crafters are, are connected, these, these computers. And then all I need to do is connect it to something. Now, hmm, there is something else. What I've seen people do is they'll have like another controller that they connect onto. And then from that controller, they run a dense cable. I don't know how that works. I also don't know if whether or not, oh, what? huh. How do we manage to, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, apparently we did have a uh, an energy acceptor. That's uh, that's my bad. Um, if I disconnect this, is this all still just one? I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still, yeah. We can rightfully see everything. It's still just one machine. So we can actually just borrow this guy for now since we can't craft on at the moment. Um, and we can place it, I guess, over here. So, um, let's, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll pick this guy up. I'm going to place the controller here so that it connects like this. So both of these are connected into the controller. Awesome. <laughs> sure. This guy doesn't have power, I believe. He might. The controller might be giving him power. If not, we can connect it like this anyway, so it's not necessarily the end of the world. Let's just uh, make sure that that guy's quartz as well, J just for uh, looks. So I, I think this is what we want to do. And then from here, what I could do is run the dense cable, right? So I could run this guy out here, okay? <laughs> I really don't know if this will work, so I'm, I'm quite enjoying placing this, pretending that I know how this works. So now we should be able to place a smart cable like that. Ah, uh, but what is it? What's the point of this? Well, yeah, so we've got four channels going through here. Two of those are going to be these things, I think. And then the other two are going to be the actual tunnels, I believe. Or actually, no, the fours, these four things here. Whoa, wh what's happening? <laughs> what, what, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. What do I want to do here? Hold on. I uh, Listen, we're very close. I, I feel like we're, we're right around the corner of Greatness Mountain. So I think what I want to do <laughs> is look at the pictures again. All right, hold on, hold on. If I place a tunnel here, that's facing down. I don't think I... Do I want it to face down? I don't think I do, right? Because what, what, what does it do? It pulls from there and then it spits it out. So I want it to like be spat upwards, for example. So, so I think what I do potentially is place a dense cable here and then place this guy facing up. But I don't know how to do that because it connects to the cable. So, hmm. <laughs> how do I do this? All right, you know what? I think we're like around the corner. You know what I mean? Like I, I think we're skating on on the edge of greatness. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, well, pretty much it. So I think if I do that, this works. <laughs> now it might need power. It looks like it needs power. I, I don't know if it needs power. I, I'm still a little bit unsure on that whole aspect. But if I place these here and then place a uh, flukes in the middle, that should then connect both of these and it should provide power. Okay. So this guy's got four channels connected. But this big one only has one channel. Oh, oh, look at this. I, listen, listen, D don't get too excited, but I think we might have just done it. I think I, think I might have just put two and two together and, and, and figured this whole thing out. So the beauty here, right? Assuming this works, how do I know if this works? Well, I guess I can open it. Yeah, they, they say they're online. Hmm. Oh, oh, this, oh, why is it? Oh, this, yeah, hold on, hold on. This, this guy still needs power. That, that explains, <laughs> listen, I totally know what I'm doing. That explains this whole setup that we had. That, that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We <laughs> definitely need power. Okay, I'm, I'm not too crazy. Just slightly crazy. Okay, yeah. So, what we have is we are getting 32 channels off of each of these um, just single smart cables. So, this entire beam, we can have, in, in theory, right, in this magical theory world, I believe we could have, I don't know, 32 times 32 channels. Because each of these channels, right, is one that is another 32. Does that make sense? That's really cool. So the final piece here to make sure it does work, I imagine, is setting up this memory card. So for example, what we should be doing is still color coding them, uh, even though we're doing it a little bit differently. So this is cyan. So I reckon if we go over here and replace this guy with some uh, cyan, that's pretty nicely color coded. Um, we'll shift right click on this guy to copy it. We'll run over here and right click on this guy. And we should see carry channels four. It's bringing the four uh, controllers into this system. We can open this up and you can see it's got all the crafting storage inside here. How cool is that? That's awesome. And there's this guy and he's just a middleman. He's literally just a middleman. He controls the P2P tunnels, but he doesn't do anything else. He, he, he doesn't care about the actual, um, the stuff on the other end of the P2P, which is obviously the, um, yeah, oh, I see it now. Now I visually, this isn't the core. Real. I, I mean, it is the core in the grand scheme of things, but in the smaller scheme of things, 
this is the like core, right? This is like the central piece. And so we're sending a P2P channel this way and then we're sending another P2P this way, right? So th this is like the middle piece in between the two. That, 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 that makes a little bit more sense. I, I, I like that. V visually seeing this done and like doing it myself rather because I, I was watching videos but it, it just wasn't clicking for me um for whatever reason <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know if i'm just dumb but um th th this clicks this clicks because then one channel goes through here and then four branch off there and oh, oh, I, I i like it so far i like it so far <laughs> now arguably once again this could just be a cable running through but I think we benefit more once we start expanding more, right? So, so this is probably really overkill in the short term, but in the long term, I think it'll be really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm liking the fact that we are doing things. Now, now that they're linked, right? Realistically, what we should do, and I, I saw someone do this in a tutorial that was linked to me. In fact, I can probably find out who this tutorial it was. Um, TKH, I believe they're called um, on YouTube. They, uh, they used barrels as like a, um, or, or, you know, chests or whatever to mark off each spot. So for example, this is the, you know, the cyan color. So if I put this configuration card in there, this memory card, we don't have to reset the uh, the connections each time. I can just grab this guy out and say, right click on a new one somewhere else. Because I'm pretty sure, like this is obviously 32 channels, but we're not gonna use 32 channels here. So I'm pretty sure I can use that exact same P2P, that same cyan one somewhere else. For example, just on this side or something. Is that what we wanna do? Hmm. How it? Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I mean, listen. I, I'll be honest. I really feel like there's almost no point in me doing this, but I kind of want to do it regardless. Um. So, I'd also like to fix this uh, spot. Th th this is really annoying me, but I don't have a solution. You know what? I actually do have a solution. Uh, it's not necessarily a. Oh, we actually. How's our si Oh, because I moved the drive over there. Oh, we are geniuses. We are <laughs> geniuses. Listen, listen, we're, we're actually pretty good here. Um, if I search facade, what do we have? Do we have any stone bricks? I would like just some stone brick facade. So I'm pretty sure I need um, these anchor things. So we'll, we'll make a few of these. Um, and then I want to make stone brick ones. And we're just going to put the things in the floor. Because why shouldn't we? I mean, I mean, it seems pretty smart. So we'll grab some of these. Uh, I don't think we need too many, to be, complete, uh, blah, 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 to be completely honest. We're going to break these now. And we're just going to run the cable through there. And that takes care of that entire problem. So we... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to ask him very politely if you'll leave. Alright. He was very nice and he left. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we can place the cables here. We can pick up the rest of these ones. And the system should all still connect. We should be able to see um, four channels in here. Yep. Beautiful. And then what we can do if we want to... Um, we can probably just do this on top. That'd probably be a, an easier way to do it. Oh, that, listen, this is what the last episode should have been. So I, I do apologize, but yeah, how cool is this? So we can just hide it up in the floor and it works just as well. Awesome. So these controllers or the, these, what are they called? These crafters, they are crafters, right? Yeah, they're crafters. These crafters are good to go. <laughs> they're set up, they're, they're wonderful. Um, so what's next? What do we do? Um, well, to be honest, we probably need more memory cards, right? It looks like we're going to have to get like one pretty much per each. Uh, we don't have redstone because the redstone's currently in uh, this. And we don't have any in our other system. So I'll just grab this stuff out for now. That'll be fine. Uh, memory card. Awesome. Oh, some processors too we're going to need. Um, so the next thing I want to hook up is probably, I mean, the rest of the system, right? Now, once again, I think we can just get away with using this same setup. Like, I... <laughs> I really don't know if there's any benefit to us personally using these P2Ps. I don't think there is in complete, like, I guess, hindsight. Um, but it's still, I, th I think it's still good knowledge to have. I, I still think there's a benefit in, in, I guess, that aspect. So we're going to go over here. We'll place our, uh, our smart cable. Now, once again, we don't need to use dense here. We could just send a normal cable through because, like, we've only got four connections here, right? We're not, we don't have 32. And same here. We've probably only got, like, eight. But why not? I mean, we've got the technology. We might as well. So this, I'm going to place right here. Um, now this guy we can just link up here. So th here's the benefit. I can grab this guy out, link him up, chuck it back in there. And as you can see, it's now linked to the same system. It's currently carrying no channels. It's got nothing going through it, um, but it can, <laughs> but it can. So on top of this guy, we're going to set our same uh, cyan cable. And as you can see, now we've got five uh, channels going through. So this guy's carrying five channels. And if we run back over to this one, this guy himself is carrying nine. How cool is that? Oh, I'm, listen, I'm so happy this is what, that this is actually like going according to plan. This is really good. Okay, okay, so this we can pick up. Um, I think, 
oh, I'm tempted to just attach the whole system in. Realistically, I could probably, um, there's a big mess going on up here. You know what? It's honestly just easy. We might as well just do this. I'm, I'm having fun doing this. So we, we might as well continue. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the cleanest way to do this with the technology I have on hand. Um, do we have any, how many just normal cables do we have? We don't have a lot, do we? Just normal smart cables? No, we don't have any in. We're, our auto crafting, although we're almost hooked, hooking it online, it's still, still a little bit of work to do. So I'll tell you what, um, <laughs> I guess we'll just run here for now. So this, if we run it through here, should work pretty much the same. Let's pick you up, um, grab you down there to be ready. We're going to place this guy here. Um... Yeah, that should be fine. We can replace this stuff later. Place the cable there. Uh, once again, we want that exact same memory because we're still just using this uh, same cyan network. So we'll hook that up. This is <laughs> I'm this is working shockingly well. So now there's six channels connected up there. And so if we come back over here, as you can see, 15 channels going through. Oh, I'm I've got so much joy. I don't know if you can hear the smile coming off my face, but this is this is perfect. This is look at that. And so this big dense cable only has three channels going through it. How cool is that? Because we've got the two coming through here and the one there. Oh, this is awesome. This is, I, yeah, this looks so much neater than what we had before. Now, it's going to use a lot of P2P tunnels, but I, I, I kind of like it. Right, it's going pretty well. So we'll branch off this guy. So, so the main thing is we sort of want to keep everything, I guess, to this side, at least, of the controller so that we're connecting off of here, right? We, we don't want to entangle everything too crazily. Like, realistically, in the perfect world, to hook up the stuff on this side, I should bring out another one, like, coming out here. You know what I mean? But for now, I think it's fine. And in the future, for stuff on that side, we could probably do that. Maybe stuff on that side, too. Because there's a lot going on over there, to be completely honest, that we still need to hook up to. And you know what? We probably will come out this way. But we also, we don't have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't have to. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to bring this over here. And we probably will do it over here. That should be good. Um, so right here, pretty much... Let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's do what we want to do. <laughs> let's do what we want to do, he says. Um, in terms of cyan dense cables, we do have some. Yeah, awesome. So, um, do I remember how this works? Not entirely. I believe I want to place you here. I want to place a P2P on top of you. And then we want to place a... Oh, this guy does connect, but he doesn't become online. But to be fair, that's because this guy's not hooked up at all. So, maybe he is fine. Hold on, let's put this memory card away since we're not using it. At least not now. Let's grab this one out. Link him up. Now it's online. Now the pattern provider is online as well. Awesome. Some machines, they only can take the small cables. So I wasn't sure. Although it visually connected, I still wanted to make sure that it was working. Oh, this is, this is going really well. I really like this. Oh, I'm, uh, yes, awesome. So this guy's hooked up. He's got two channels connected. So one up there, I guess, and then the one above him. Um, and we should be able to connect this up just fine. And that's going to be eight channels of 32. How cool is that? So this guy must have had a bunch on him. Oh, actually, it does make sense. We had two here. And then we have six up here. Because right above there, in case you can't tell, um, is actually one of the crafters. Um, in fact, I think, yeah, all these are crafters too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. So realistically, um, uh, yeah, this is probably the way to do it. Let's keep bringing this guy around here. We'll, we'll go further down that way. Um, in terms of this side... We'll probably do the same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, listen, I'm <laughs> I'm probably having too much fun doing this, to be completely honest. So we place this guy. We'll place a tunnel on top. We'll place this cable on top. We'll see it. We'll see how much heat he takes. Um, and then we just need to grab our configuration card. I think I put it away again. I keep putting it away. We're, we're going to be using it. I just don't want to mess it up. So then we right-click this guy. And he's carrying some channels now. And he's got seven channels coming in here. So it's not eight. So... We don't even have to worry about that anymore. And then we do the same thing over here. Now, one thing we don't have, again... Oh, was, I was going to say are these small smart cables, but there we go. Awesome. So, once again, we've got two here. So, we might be able to do a little bit of a loophole. Eh, not a loophole, but just a different bit, uh, bit of a setup. Let's... um, We'll do dense cable, this cable. And then we'll place... um, Where are we? <laughs> where are my pit of piece? Oh, yeah, here they are. So, this guy's going to go here. And then on top of him will be another cyan. Um, one thing we... Hold on. Before we continue, how many are we currently bringing back? We're currently bringing back 30, okay? So at this point, I'll tell you what we want to do. We want to make use of this guy over here. We've got a whole new different thing set up. Oh, awesome. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to put away this memory card. He's locked in. This, this guy's the cyan guy. If I wanted to, which I kind of do, we should probably figure out a way to specify that that's cyan. Um... I guess I could open it up and just place one in there. That makes sense. Then we'll get another barrel. 
um, for the other side. And this guy's going to be, be for the uh, the lime stuff because obviously we've got him hooked up as well. So if we grab that other memory card out, th th this is the perfect episode. <laughs> um, we can then grab this guy here. So this peer to -peer, create a new network. And then we should just be able to bring along this entire thing, which is, I think it's awesome that we can do that. Um, yeah, oh, this is going to go really well. So then we right click here. So he's hooked up. He's currently not moving anything. We swap out the cyan for the, uh, the uh, we want lime, right? Yeah, we want lime. I'm pretty sure. I, I want to double check because the green, yeah, we want lime. The, I feel like the small cables look a lot more green, if that made sense. So now this guy's hooked up. We've got three channels up there. Awesome. And then a cool thing you can do with these, um, if I actually get in range um, with the cables, is we can just branch it off like this. It doesn't need to connect to the main thing. We can go over here. We can place this guy, place him, hook him up. And this guy's got one channel online. This little guy here. How cool is that? How cool is that? Um, these guys, we actually need to move because we're, we're messing around with these trying to get them to work. But these guys, actually, we put, I know we've got upgrades in. Yeah, so I think I just need to place these back on. And we should be able to see as well the um, the network change, like how much is uh, connected. There we go. Pick those up. Hop back down here. And this guy's got one. This guy's got six. Send them through the network. How cool is that? So this guy here, he will obviously be for the, uh, the lime. And he can have that guy in him. So that if I add an extra lime in the future, I can come back here and be like, oh, yeah, there's the lime memory card. If I add a cyan, there it is. This main uh, channel here only has seven out of 32. So we can add a bunch more here. The controller itself, well, it's fine. It can do whatever it wants. Um, it's only got two channels coming in from this side. Um, and these guys here, this guy's obviously got 30. So we can add two more of, of something. Or we can add um, set, oh, you know, a bunch more lime stuff. How cool is that? I, th I think that is incredibly cool. So at the moment, what isn't hooked up? Um, this entire side is hooked up. It's all going through there. Including, oh, not including, sorry, the farm over there. Although this is only seven channels. That one over there will be the eighth. Sounds like a plan to me. Um, we might be able to build engadget it. I somewhat doubt it, but we can give it a shot. Let's do the build to me. There we go. Zoom in. And it does, I mean, it's like it wants to work. The issue it has is that you can't really paste these blocks because they're cables. I think that's the main the main predicament that we're in. Um, is there an option? Like if I do ray trace fluid, does that, no, that doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do the trick. Oh, well. Um, I'll just have to manually place it, which it's a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. All right, that's hooked up, I believe. So we should now have eight of 32. Awesome. Eight of 32. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? And so the last thing to connect is this side over here, which I think we're going to do pretty much what we did there. So we'll grab um, two of these P2Ps. We can probably do one for now just to, uh, you know what? I kind of like the idea of two and two, or at least having two ready, right? Um, so we won't do cyan. Oh. Uh, I mean, we very much could. Would that get too confusing? You know what we do instead? We do green and we do blue. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. That that seems arguably more confusing, but kind of funny. Um, so I want to get my hands on some of these. There we go. That was <laughs> shockingly easy. Um, and then we've got a bunch of the green ones. That's fine. And then we grab this. Uh, but we also do want small ones. So for example, we want a small green which we're going to be using quite early on, as well as the small blue. Um, because these guys obviously are what we want to connect from here. So we'll have like two here. Um, and then we'll have this here. I think we want to do that. That should be good. Um, now we want another controller. At this point, I believe we can get away with ordering some. So I'll order two. One to repair the machine. No. Okay, we can't afford it yet. Why can't we afford it? Don't we have that stuff in here? Oh, you know what? I think all the smelting recipes are over here that we're about to unlock. So, <laughs> once again, just for now, we'll borrow, we'll borrow this uh, controller. That should be fine. Um, so this guy, once again, is going to go here. Now, we want both of these to connect, as you can see. As, as per these cables, we're just going to connect um, them together like this. You don't have to do it perfectly, like essentially like what I'm doing. But both for, for like visually, I kind of want to do it and just to be sure. So this is fine. We need to do another controller or sorry, an energy acceptor setup. Or what we could do if we didn't want to is we could just run. Um, I think you can get away with just running a quartz cable like this. Um, which to be honest, I think. No, this is offline. Yeah. So I think what we would want to do is just run this the entire way. Over. I mean, we don't have to run it the entire way, but I think you might get the idea. And then we'll hook these up there as well. Just to make sure nothing connects. Um, yep, do this. And then in the middle of these, we'll just place some normal cables. 
And so what we should get, as you can see, is this hooked up with power. These ones are powered as well. Um, everything's powered, everything's good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that works. It's, I don't know, I don't know what's prettier. It, it, might, it might look better, honestly, in terms of our uh, just consistency, I guess. We, we, we can do it, we might as well. All right, so we can place these here, and then I think that means I can pick these guys up for a rainy day or whatever. Um, awesome, so everything should still be working. We still got 31, 31 channels. Oh, because of this guy connected, maybe? Interesting. 31 channels. Oh, no, it's because that extra one I connected. That makes sense. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, so then what do we have? Then I think we just have the big the big line of uh, cables. Yeah. So, for example, this would be the big line that we have. Um, we can pick this stuff up. It doesn't have to be uh, that anymore. Um, same with that guy over there. Oh, actually, uh, I, guess, I guess he could stay connected. <laughs> okay, so right here, what do we want to do? Um, hmm... You know what, for the sake of uh, expanding in the future, let's bring this cable out a little bit, just so that it's already there, I guess. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll hook the stuff up over here. So for example, um, we wanna place just a normal cable like this. That'll go there. Um, on top of him will obviously be the, P the P2P. So we can place him just like that. Um, and then on top of him is gonna be, what network do we wanna use? Um, I guess we can use the blue one. Well, uh, we, we'll use green actually, let's do green. So I'll place green there. And so he should already sort of be connected. Um, in terms of the power being provided, what have I done over here? We've done nothing. I, I think it should provide the power. All I need to do is link it up, which uh, does make sense. So if I grab a memory card, which apparently we can order, maybe. Yep, it says we can order it. Awesome, memory card. I'm going to grab the green. There we go. And then I'll right click it over here. Boom. And as you can see, it's booting online. We've got eight channels. So this guy is either completely full or he's not, if that somehow makes sense. So to test this out, what we can do is we can hook this guy up. And as we can see, six channels connected. Okay, um, I kind of want to connect this guy on another side. So what I might do just real quick is break this top one, if it'll let me, there we go. And we can place this guy here, so you can connect to the top. And we're using, yeah, we're still using eight, but now they're at least separated to make it a little bit easier on us, I guess, mentally to figure this out. And this guy's, I mean, he's only got eight, so we can actually just bring this around. Um, and once again, for the sake of, uh, I guess, visually, um, realistically, I could like color these cables or cover them, I guess. Um, or actually, hold on. I can just place these in, in the way. So then if I place this here, they, they still connect, they, they latch on, but they don't break. So now we've got 11 channels connected. How cool is that? I should have done that uh, down there as well. Yeah, either way, works pretty well. Um, so over here, um, mm, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to make a new network. So what we're going to do is grab our, uh, you know, smart cable. We'll come over here. I'm, I'm really liking this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I've made it too too obvious. Um, so on top of this guy, we'll place another uh, tunnel. We should have one left. Yep, there he goes. And we'll hook him up to the green network, um, which reminds me as well, before we, uh, you know, run away with it and get lost, let's make sure we have our barrel set up. And this guy, I mean, he can pretty much sit here. It doesn't really matter too much. He'll go in there with a green dense, just so that I remember. On top of this guy will go another dense. So he's booted up, he's ready to go. And then all I do is hook him up. And then it checks the network, three devices connected. I believe our entire system is now hooked up, which means I should be able to order, if this does work, two more controllers to fix my thing. But we're missing Skystone and Fluix dust. Now, here's a bit of a pickle. I believe that stuff's coming from up here, or at least it should be. We've got six channels used, so, in theory, it should be fine. Oh, but this guy's not connected. Okay. That is uh, easily done with the cable. We're going to have to probably like rewire all this stuff as well. In fact, let's pick him up and place him there. That's probably going to make a little bit more sense, right? Uh, open this guy up. Priority for him. I think it was 100, right? But we wanted it to whitelist the stuff I already had. So hold on. Let's do negative 100. Let's just leave it as it is. Let's take out stuff we don't want in here. For example, these, this stuff here, um, the ingots. The netherite scrap can stay in there, to be honest, but this cable, the pebble can stay. I'm, I'm fine with the pebble. Rotten flesh, no. Scrap, yes. The rest of this stuff, sure. Good enough. I'm happy with it. Um, we can open this guy. We can do uh, configures partition based on currently stored items. And as you can see, it'll store all this. I think if I put capacity cards, we can click this again and it'll store more items. Realistically, in the perfect world, we get another capacity card um, to try and filter this even more, which is what I'm trying to do right now. So we'll go in here, 
Capacity card. Open this guy up. Capacity card. He didn't get anything just then. Yep, perfect. We click this again. Partition. Nice. So now we've got everything whitelisted here and a few extra spots for, you know, a few extra things. But we can't have too many for whatever reason. We'd probably need like a second storage bus, I, I imagine. Um, but yeah, at the moment, awesome. Works wonderfully. So this guy should now be using seven out of eight. I think that would be our, yeah, our 32 a 30 second uh, system. So if we want another thing attached here, we're going to have to move things around or arguably what the smarter option is, is if I just grab some lime out, which by the way, I should actually store them all in here. You know what I mean? Like for example, in this uh, green one over here, we should just have a bunch of greens in there. So that when I do want to move the thing, it's easy to do. Um, but what I was going to say was I should grab this guy out and switch this network. So swap him around. He's now on the lime network. So we can chuck that back in. Um, we can pick this guy up and place him as lime. They don't need to be color coded either. Just sort of helps me uh, keep track of stuff, I guess. Um, now the benefit of doing this, like swapping that over, is now this guy has 25 channels used. So we've got a lot more expandability if we like add an extra connection somewhere that's already hooked up. Oh, that one's not hooked up. Um, for example, hooking up that thing. Um, and then the lime one, it had plenty. So it's now up to 14. So yeah, that should be good. Um, so over here, we can chuck that in there. What's going on here? Um, this guy, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's good. I'm pretty sure all I need to do is, uh, just hook this up and that should go up to nine network. Yep. Nine. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, oh, this stuff. Hold on. Hold on. This guy's got five, uh, connected. If I bring you over, what do you want now? Seven. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Okay. Are we, are we actually good? I think, I think we're good. I think everything's hooked up. I think everything that needed to be hooked up is hooked up. And everything that didn't need to be hooked up doesn't exist. Awesome. Hey, hey, listen, listen. How cool is that? So at this point, I think now we can do the controller test to see if we can. It says we can. We can order them, get them hooked up. The rest of this stuff, I mean, to be honest, I probably should grab these cables out and put them where they need to go. Just to, you know, once again, just to help with the filtering. I think it'll be very beneficial um, in the long run. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all she wrote. Okay, so, oh, oh I, keep, I keep falling. Um, what do we do at this point? Well, to be honest, nothing. We relax, we sit back, we have fun. But, but genuinely, this is, I'm genuinely really happy that we've somehow managed to pull this together. Really, really happy. So, our system is now a lot better managed. Now, another benefit of this, <laughs> lots of benefits, is I want to place more control or, or more crafters. I want to do a lot of these. Um, what that's going to mean is I actually kind of want to make use of uh, some more of these requesters. So, for example, in this guy, I'm going to search for crafting and what I'd want to do is to be honest, let's keep like 10 of these just ready. Cause then that'll allow me to like craft whatever I want. Um, so that should be good. Order one at a time. Why not? Um, in terms of the cra uh, crafting pro co processes, sure. Let's do 10 of them. Why not? Why not? Give me a reason. <laughs> um, and then in terms of everything else, we could push to 256 K. I don't think we need to. That's sort of, I guess the other thing. What I'm probably going to do is the 64Ks and these, we might just do, I mean, we could do 10. Like this, the thing is we can just do 10 or we could just not, you know, Let, let's do two, right? Hmm. Because what I'm thinking as well is just grabbing more um, processes is going to speed up a lot of these as opposed to just having more controllers altogether. So we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to keep an eye on things, but um, awesome. We'll have that stuff ordered now. Um, so if I search crafting, as you can see, we've got a bunch of crafting units being made. How cool is that? I think that's really cool. Um, so these guys, I guess maybe they light up when they're actually crafting something. You can see this guy's currently crafting. This guy currently doing nothing. <laughs> but I think that's because it's waiting for more of these to craft, which does make sense. And then I imagine once one of these is crafted, this guy will light up again. Um, in terms of crafting over here, how are we doing? I'm not too sure what the, uh, what the slow part is. Over here, this looks relatively slow to be completely honest. Um, but I'm not sure why, uh, the interface here, he should be able to chuck stuff in pretty much. No issue. The pipe, the pipe's pretty slow. It's got no upgrades. Let's, let's fix that problem right now. Let's go in here, grab in an advanced pipe upgrade, open this gap, chuck it in. What we should hopefully see now is at least when it orders the stuff, it should, I don't know, shop just that little bit faster. I think, which it will probably be beneficial. Is there another one? Oh my God. They spawn like crazy. Um, Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, in terms of the silicon, once again, we have only a little bit there. Arguably, we want a lot more. So I'm just going to order 100. Why not? Should should be on its way. So that should be cool. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't, it's, it's pretty cool. So we've got 10 of these. So now, realistically, it should craft this stuff. Oh, but the issue is, we might not even have the pattern for that. Like, if I search crafting, you can see there's no pattern. So what I need to do here is encode some patterns. So, um, for example, crafting coprocessor. We want this. Um, I'm going to apparently have to put some more blank patterns in here. But that should be fine. Um, awesome. What's next is the crafting storage. This guy here. He's going to be expensive to make. I'll tell you that much. But um, it should be worth it. This guy, I think, is completely full. This guy is pretty much almost full. We'll chug in this guy for now. Um, and in the meantime, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will get a uh, pattern provider. Which, by the way, we should have these auto-crafted as well. Just so I can grab one when I need it. Instead of doing whatever that just was. Jump up here. Oh, uh, boop. There it goes. He can go in there. Awesome. So now, some of these are going to clog up with building and crafting like, um, you know, the 64Ks. But we should be able to craft more and more storages. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, in terms of this guy, let's actually add... Yeah, let's add the uh, pattern provider to here. So let's go here. And this guy, we can keep... Realistically, one's probably good enough, but we'll probably do like five. Uh, let's do six so that we can build a complete system if we needed to. Um, if, you know, if it happened to call for it. Um, in the meantime, once again... We could definitely benefit by setting up some of these. So I'm going to grab one of you and one of you. Uh, I'm going to grab two of you, three of you. Because I want to, uh, four of you. I want to match all of these up. So for example, I want to place one here. And for example, I want to place one here. I just want to make sure I'm not connecting to anything underneath. I, th I think we're good. I think there's a decent gap. Um, then we'll do the same thing over here. And we'll have to place out, you know, facades and stuff. Now in terms of this, this guy's currently got four connected. We do have to keep that in mind when we're uh, expanding along like this. We're good for now, but it, it, like, it is something we do have to constantly be aware of. Um, one of those differences compared to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, refined storage. So we'll place our crafting storage there with these connected there. Um, we'll, we'll try and figure out how to get up through this gap. There we go. Boom. Awesome. Whole new uh, controller hooked up. And the last thing would be the facade. Stone brick. Bada bing. Bada boom. Pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool. So we can slowly upgrade more of these things as we, I guess, get the stuff. Um, for example, this guy. The issue at the moment is apparently the calculating, the calculation processes, I, I still almost don't believe it. I guess, yeah, we're crafting a lot of things here. Y you know what was actually told to me? A better inscriber. Because we do have the option for better inscribers. We have a few options. If I search inscriber, we have... The advanced inscriber from AE2 things, which I think is what we want. But also, if we look at, for example, um, the recipe for this, there's the circuit etcher. And this guy I think is arguably better. Essentially an advanced inscriber, but upgradable and faster by making use of raw materials. <sighs> we can we can make it. The thing is it's scary because I think it would replace this. And then that might sound like a good thing, but I kind of like this thing works, you know what I mean? Whereas we'll be jumping in the deep end a bit here. I think we do it as horrible as this might sound. We're going to need some presses, which means I'm going to have to actually like borrow some of these to uh, either to craft. Oh my God, we have a lot cooked up. Interesting. I'm wondering how much of this can be sped up. You know what I mean? Just by putting in pipe upgrades. I think a decent amount, like not a lot, but I think it, like chucking in this just so that when it finishes, it's like, gone instantly that's probably beneficial um even putting everything else in so for example uh well all of these upgrades are diamond right yeah like this is already diamond so the slow part is probably just this here but i mean he's already got diamond he can't <laughs> he can't go any faster he, he doesn't really have much on the table um all right so yeah we, we should be able to do this um so the main thing we need i believe are iron blocks let's craft 10 of these we, we don't need 10 but you know 10 never hurt nobody <laughs> um so this guy is a bit clogged at the moment. That's fine. Uh, what did it say we needed for this circuit etcher? Um, it said, oh, if I figure out the right button, we're going to need a universal press. And this guy, we need one of each. So we're going to need an inscriber logic press. An inscriber... Wait, wait, hold on. What do we have in here? We, we have a universal press. We might be able to hijack it. Now, the reason I'd say this is a good idea is because the circuit etcher, it can do everything. As you can see, it even does it cheaper using iron ingots to make the full presses instead of blocks. Like, it's pretty good. It can even do parallel processes. We don't need any other press once we make this. So we can actually, we can definitely just borrow this one. Now, I could pick up these inscribers, but I'm thinking to play it safe 
and make it just a new, like brand new one. You know what I mean? Just, just to be safe. So we're going to get um, three of these. So we're going to need some sticky pistons. And um, that should be pretty easy. Um, slime balls. Oh no. Uh, these, I believe you need mushrooms, which we have a decent amount of. We don't have infinite. So we do have to be a little bit careful, but we have a decent amount of, um, and you put those in which water and you get stuff. Now, which water should you use? Um, make sure you use which water, which water is which water. Well, which water? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I'm having too much fun because we did what we wanted to do and I'm very happy. Um, this guy, I listen, every single time that I put a bucket of water in there, how embarrassing. Like, it would take me not long. Oh, is that a phantom? Oh, I want to destroy everything you know and love. Um, I might actually just take some satisfaction real quick just in, in actually just hitting these because it is quite satisfying because I really hate them. Um, <laughs> and I think we needed some phantom membrane for something, at least at some point, so... We might as well, you know, there you go. Take care of that guy. Take care of this guy. Yep. There we go. A little bit of phantom membrane. Um, can we make something with this? The phantom membrane? Can we make like a phantom go away brain? Slow fall darkness. Eh, mm, eh, mm. Nah, not really. Um, anyhow, <laughs> we got some. That's the main thing. Um, here, we'll top ourselves up with this stuff. Grab this. Make sure it's topped up. That's the, that's the main thing. Um, so yeah, we now have slime. So we should be able to make uh, the stuff we wanted to. So the sticky pistons. Um, we don't need as many as I was going to craft, but we'll still make 10. Might as well. Uh, so inscriber. I guess we've got this one on it. I can't spell at the moment. <laughs> All right. Three inscribers. That means we can actually just make right away the circuit etcher. That easy. It's that easy. Now, this entire setup is for inscribers and it's quite clean. It's quite neat. It's quite tidy. You know, it does its job. I'm going to place this guy like over here, right? He's going to go pretty much here. Now, uh, in terms of here, what I should do, realistically, what we should have is like, uh, elevators every so often, which we can do, allegedly, which I'm going to try to do, because why not, I guess, we'll need a little bit more wool. Um, these ele elevators are genuinely pretty cool. Uh, the problem is, you, you, oh, you, you thought you were funny, didn't you? You thought you'd get away with it. You thought he could get away with it. You thought he could. Um... We, we need to have one on top and one below and, and the way our base is set up it can't, kind of isn't built for that our base is also sort of is it asymmetrical or is it symmetrical I can't it's really hard to tell I think we're good yeah um so if we wanted to for example it'd be quite messy we could make this be an elevator and then what we would do <laughs> if we really wanted to keep like some symmetry is I could place these cables here and here and just place the facades on top just you know just for the sake of symmetry right so we can place this here, this here, um, and this guy would go down. Now, obviously a little cheat code would be to actually place the bottom one first. So we'll place an elevator there and an elevator here. And now as you can see, as you can see, you can just jump on them and crouch on them to go up and down. Not the greatest, but it works. It works. We could also have this be like a three by three if we wanted to or something. I think as well, I've got some stone bricks. I'm pretty sure we can camouflage them. Yeah. See how cool is that? Nice and camouflaged. Now, the problem there is I won't know which one to use. So arguably... Not the greatest idea, but an idea nonetheless, okay? It's an idea nonetheless. So, what are we doing here? Um, well, the main thing I wanted to see is I wanted to jump down here and see how many are we using. We're using 7 of 32, so we can get away with another, um, what should we call it? Another uh, pattern provider. So, I'll search pattern. We should have quite a few lying around. Awesome. Chuck this guy here. We will need a stairs. So let's go ahead and grab our stone brick stairs. Let's go ahead and chuck this guy there. Beautiful. And here we go. So, the circuit etcher. On the down section, I want it to input and output. Beautiful. That's it. Auto extract, I want it enabled. So, that will force the outputs below. Perfect. We're going to put an ender gate on top. We'll grab a good ender gate. Slap him there. Beautiful. So, now he's powered. Wonderful. Um, we can do upgrades and we can do patterns. So, in terms of patterns, what do we need? Well, for starters, we need patterns. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a pretty important part. Although, arguably, I can run over here. And I can pick up these because these are the three things we need, right? At least for now. So, um, if I edit these, so I chuck in one of these patterns, the logic processor can also be made with this recipe right here. So we're going to do that. Update that recipe. Beautiful. The engineering processor can be done with the raw materials like so. So, so because the, 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 the theory part here is that the um, circuit etcher uses in its recipe three inscribers and a universal press. So it doesn't need to pre-press the crystal, you know? Like it doesn't have to pre-press the silicon or anything. It's going to do that all at once because it has the technology within it. So we just update these recipes and we should be good to go, which is really cool. So we bring these over here. Now, 
the downside here is that it's one machine. Right, that's a clear downside because I mean, how would it gonna be? Oh my god, they're just I, I should probably sleep. Like it's about to become daytime, so let's actually just quickly sleep to like reset that whole uh you know insomnia thing, right? Because it has been a few nights that we've uh, just skipped by. Um, but if we look in here, first of all, they should all be cancelled, which they pretty much are. But it does look like we're, we're ordering some some uh resonating crystals. And does this system work? <laughs> I don't remember. Does this what? I think. We had it set up over here. It doesn't work, but it looks like it would work. It's like, it's so close to working, but it just doesn't, you know, <laughs> poor little guy. We get, we can probably fix this too, if we really want to, which maybe we do. Um, but that should be good. We should actually see in here, the ingredients. Now, currently we don't, but we should. And that's the main thing. Um, yeah. Insert extract. <sighs> no recipe being processed. Um, Toggle this side, reset the side, can be used for inputs and outputs. I mean, it's currently not doing anything, which is concerning to say the least. Um, hmm, scheduled. Let's cancel this and it might order them again and it might actually use the, uh, the guy this time. Maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. We might have to consult this guy over here. How are you doing? Are we, are we good? I, I mean, I think we're good. Let's, let's search processor. I mean, we've got 10 of each, so I guess we are good. Um, let's search crafting. Okay, we do have these stuff. I'll tell you what, let's put it to the test. I'm going to grab these and I'm going to grab, I believe I want four of these, right? Yep. So here we go. Um, so then we can run over here. We can rip this right up off the ground. Beautiful. Place our uh, processor here. Place our crafters. And it should be ordering the stuff. Yeah. How, how cool is this? So already, I'm pretty sure this is just faster in general, simply due to the fact that it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, does everything from scratch. Like, that, that's pretty good. Um, one thing we could do, uh, I think we're just good. Is that genuinely, did that, do we have everything again? We, I mean, we have all the processes, I guess. Two engineering processes we need. Oh my, look at this. It, oh, it chucks them in. Hold on, hold on. What I wanted to check was can I genuinely chuck these in here? And I want to see how this works because I think it stacks them. Yeah, so this guy's fast. <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. We're going to hijack all of these. All of them. Every single one of these. And we're going to see how many this guy can take and how fast it makes him. So at the moment, pretty fast. He can take eight of them. And now he's very fast. Very, 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 very fast compared to anything we had before. How cool is that? That is very cool is the answer. Um, so in terms of these, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly pick up like this and replace it because that seems pretty smart. Um, so we'll do the same for all those, um, which means these guys here, we can shift right click to pull them apart and that'll just, I guess, help with crafting uh, some stuff a little bit. So if I search crafting, um, we've got another one. Awesome. So I can rip this guy up, the 4K, slap this guy in, pull this guy apart, extra materials, why not? Um, so yeah, I genuinely, this is pretty good. Like we're, we're definitely doing pretty well here. Um, yeah, these guys need quite a few of them. The, the 64 case. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to tell you in terms of storage as well. This guy's actually getting used, which is pretty cool to be honest. The other thing I've kind of forgotten about, which I shouldn't have is this guy over here. Ooh, awesome. We, we actually had extra fluoride in there. We've got 43 polonium pellets. I don't know about you guys, but that, that's, that's a lot of polonium. The benefit of that is the QIO. Oh, you know what we do? Let's let's see if we can push it. So these blue ones obviously need that recipe. Oh, uh, uh, I was gonna say, what happened to the patterns? There we go. That goes there. And then the blue ones turn into the purple ones. The purple ones need antimatter. We don't we don't have antimatter lying around, but we can add the pattern. Okay, we we can add the pattern just for some good luck, you know, just in case we do in the future. But what we can do now is QIO. I should be able to at least order this one. Oh, and we can. It's only going to use 16 pallets. That is pretty ridiculous. This thing is going to store 1 million items and 1,000 types. It's genuinely a, an amazing item. Now, in terms of these, we can keep clicking on them like that, but I'm pretty sure as well, surely there's a crafting monitor of some sort. This guy here. Now, I don't think that's even what we want, to be completely honest. I think we want like a crafting manager. Because the monitor, I think you can place it on the crafter and it will tell you what it's crafting currently. But I want to be able to like look at all the machines we have. You know what I mean? So if I search crafting 
And then what's this? Crafting storage, crafting monitor, crafting terminal, crafting terminal. Not what we want per se. Um, hmm. well, uh, what if I search terminal? What, what options do we have? We have the encoding, we have the crafting, we have the normal, we have the pattern access. And we, uh, yeah, pattern access. I mean, maybe that's what we want. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure if there's a way to do what I want. Like, I want to be able to, like, look look up at what we're, we're doing. I don't think the crafting monitor does that. All right, so, so, so currently, what's the slow part? The slow part looks to be um, the infusing factory, which is kind of out of our control, because as you can see, this guy, I mean, he's doing what he can. You know, he's getting the resources as quick as he can. Um, in terms of him being any faster, uh, I don't think we have an option. Oh, actually, hold on. I think if I, if I can figure out how to get there, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy's determined on how fast we go. Um, and this guy's currently doing 32 items every 10 ticks. Is that what this looks like? It's hard to tell. I guess this guy's also an issue, how many he gets at, at a time. And he's dependent on this stuff, which is, I guess, dependent on maybe the crafting processes. Hmm. See, it's interesting. I don't really know what I want to do here. Uh, if we hop down here, is there like a clear option? I'll tell you what, there kind of is. And I'm tempted to do it. We could place these like this. And this would be a behemoth of a controller or, or, or of a crafter. Now, this guy's the one that won't be able to do that, which is a little bit annoying. Well, actually he is. He can do that because he's connected right here. Hold on. We can do this perfectly. Let me grab some quartz out. Uh, the quartz fiber. I want to place this guy on top, like so. We can pick this up, and we can just place this directly like that. How cool is that? Now, we also just picked up a bunch of stuff that was crafting, but that's fine. So that can go there. We just need two more uh, sets of this uh, these crafters now, but I'll be honest, they're already crafted. So we want uh, six of them. So these guys should craft very, very quickly. And I think the whole system works because this is just providing power. It's not doing anything else. It should be fine. I think we're good. So... Hold on. If we can figure out how to get back up there, there was an elevator, wasn't there? Um, I'm pretty sure we're, like, really good at this point. Um, some of this stuff is apparently dropping on the ground, which is a little bit unfortunate, but for the most part, I think we're, like, this stuff here? Yeah, I mean, everything's just incredibly fast. Um, oh, hold on. We, we actually want to go right back where we were. I think this is the final piece of this puzzle, at least, which is pick this guy up, place this guy down. How cool is that? What? Hey, what an episode. Turning it around from the last episode, we got stuff done. This bit here is visually a little bit lacking. We can definitely improve on that. This guy here, we can actually improve on this guy pretty quickly. I would like um, a blue upgrade and a purple upgrade. Thank you. That was awfully quick. We can chuck these in here. And now this guy should be a little bit faster. Just, just a little bit. Arguably, again, we probably want some more ender gates and... Arguably, we probably want some high-quality ones. Yeah, some of the some of the good stuff. Thank you very much. Um, so we'll pick up these not-so-good stuff, and we'll put on our uh, blazing ones, which they get the job done. Uh, same with this guy. I don't know if we use this crusher too much, but hey, we've got him. Why not? It's pretty easy to do. And yeah, how cool is that? I mean, genuinely, this has been a really good episode. Um, so yeah, we can make everything very, 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 very quickly. This thing's... Awfully disgusting. This thing's still doing its thing? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it is. Hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. The, the QIO, but just before we end this, um, I was still trying to craft this guy. He's on his way. Um, that's what we were actually watching, this guy here, to see if he was able to put more items in at once with fasters. Does it look like he... I don't think he is. I don't think he's putting more in at once. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what part of the issue is. We do have this guy set to only put in one type of thing at once. So to fix this issue, we would have to double all of these, which I'll be honest, pretty good idea. I'm going to do it. I, I genuinely think it's worth doing. So what that's going to entail is just quickly chucking them in here. Um, it is going to be clicking. No, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be clicking on them. There's going to be a way to do it. I, I'll just have to figure out how to do it. I imagine maybe this button. Yeah. And I'm going to double these. So this will go up to 16 set this will go up to two and then this will be able to obviously do well two at once this will go to 16 and then we'll update that pattern and he's good to go and we'll do the same for all of these so this guy will obviously go to eight there we go u to eight make sure we're updating this to two as well oh uh two beautiful and yeah so i'm gonna do that for the rest of them all right so these are all updated to now produce twice the amount each time we order them so 
in theory, it should get a lot more stuff now. <laughs> or at least, once again, that's sort of the thought. What we might have to do is sort of kickstart it and do that by cancelling this guy and just ordering it again. <laughs> Which is a little bit, little bit bleh, but it should be worth it. So we'll order it again. And now when we look in here, yeah, now we're pretty much filling the entire thing up once. Arguably, we could push it one step further, but that's pretty good. Like, there's a very little downtime. There's still downtime, especially with some of these later recipes that were still only crafted, you know, four at a time. Um, but I think we're good. I'll be honest. Like, realistically, this is a pretty expensive uh, recipe in terms of mechanism. So, like, sort of expect it to be this rough. But, oh my god, one million items. So, this guy, which barely has 15,000, is now going to absolutely be just thrown into the gutter. Okay, okay. One thing I don't know is how will I take items out of this and put it into this? You know what I mean? How do I do that? I'm, I'm not sure, to be completely honest. Um, is there an easy way to do it? I really don't know. Um, hmm. You know what? I think there is. Kind of. Hold on. Um, oh, our drive's down here, isn't it? What's our, what's our drive got in it? Currently, our drive is... Uh, Hmm. Uh, mm, I've, mm, I've got an interesting idea. I kind of want to put everything into this, right? Like, if we can, just because that sort of seems fun. So I'm going to grab all that. I'm going to grab, I think, all of these. And I'm going to just try to empty them into the system and see how much stuff that is. So we've got this QA report to put things in the system. I'm just going to dump this stuff in here. And it should all be going into this. And it looks like it is. <laughs> Which is working pretty well. In terms of uh, types, we'll be able to see how many types we need. We'll be able to see if we need more and how many more we need. And see whether the antimatter is worth getting. Which I think it is, but I guess we'll find out. Um, all of these are empty. How cool is that? So these guys, we can just pull them apart. Might as well. I mean, we're not using them. Uh, none of those were fluid, were they? Did I take any fluid uh, drives out? We've got a chemical drive, so I think I did. I'll, I'll have to make a new fluid drive. That'll be fine. Item cell, disc housing. Um, ME disc here. Yep, pull that guy apart too. Um, hold on. Let's press U on U. And I would like you <laughs> to be a fluid. Was this guy fluid? Portable fluid cell. No, I don't want him to be portable. I just want him to be a fluid cell. So I want some of this. No, we can't order. We can't order. Why can't we order that? Really? I've really just like broke the bank with whatever I set up recently. Huh? <laughs> oh, glass. Yeah, we've got a glass shortage. Oh, you know what the issue is? We could probably actually cancel all these. It's because I took the storage out. So then it was like, oh, we don't have any of this stuff. Order it. Um, but we've got the stuff. It was just in a different storage. So for the most part, I think we're good now. Uh, in saying that, a lot of this stuff's still quite angry with me. And I don't particularly know why. Oh, it's because I'm, it's in this thing here. And I didn't empty this thing. But I don't think I can empty this thing. At least not in here. So instead, what I need to do... Hold on. Oh, God. Um... Turn these off. Oh, that's really nice. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, let's let's turn turn these off for now. Cancel all this stuff. Okay, so this stuff comes out. This thing goes in. We grab an importer. Uh, an import bus. Grab this. Grab that. Grab this again. Grab that. Uh, actually, uh, mm, uh, mm, hold on. Can I flip? I can flip this. <gasps> hold on. Hold on. We combine this with... A uh, disc. Hold on. You're, you're about to see an attempt. <laughs> an attempt to do something. Hold on, hold on. That, hold on, hold on. We're, <laughs> we're narrowing in. I've, I'm close to figuring this, this thing out. We grab a disc. Okay, we grab this guy. We combine this and the 64. Okay, awesome. Step one, complete. Step two, we put everything in that dense cell into, you ready? Into this. So it fills up with about 16,000 stuff. That's a lot more than 16,000. Huh. Oh, hold on. I know the issue. It's pulling it from uh, from this guy as well, which obviously we don't want to happen. Oh, why are things never as they seem? Although, hold on. Did, did this guy empty too? Before? Oh my God. And this thing filled up because this thing has a high priority, doesn't it? But I want this thing to have a... Oh, God. All right, we need, we need to craft some stuff. Um, to do that, I'm actually going to need some uh, netherite. So we're going to borrow some of this from our system over here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> um, we'll obviously do some of this. Do some of that. Craft as many as will let me. Not many. 
but that's fine. Um, we're gonna grab, yeah, pretty much this stuff, I think. Uh, arguably, the normal 64Ks probably do the trick. Um, what's, this guy's full. Does that mean this guy's empty? He's not empty. Hold on. But he's, he's close, though. Hold on. I think this guy should empty him. So he's chucked in. This guy is not emptying at all. Hold on. All right. These guys are empty. Okay. <laughs> Step one complete. This guy, full. What I do now is I go in here. <laughs> I talk like robot. I open this storage bus. Open him. Set him to 1,000. But most importantly, set him to extract. Oh, I can't extract only. Okay, fine. Sure. Um, so this guy currently has stuff. In a second. Shouldn't have stuff, but he still does. Why? Oh, because, oh my God, hold on. Because that's not even max. I need to go 2,000 because I set the other. Okay, now it should be emptying. But is this guy already full? Hold on. He's already full. Okay, hold on. Now it should be emptying. Give me a second. Hmm. All right, I'll be honest. Can't figure it out. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. We'll just, we'll just empty these back into the system. It should be fine. I mean, he can stay in here. I just kind of wanted him out for like, I don't know, simplicity's sake, you know what I mean? I I'm sure as well, there's probably a mechanism version of this, you know what I mean? That uh, that can manipulate that storage. I don't know what it is. I don't know what exactly I'd be looking for. Um, I, I guess I could start with QIO. What's this? QIO dashboard. I think that's what we use. Um, QIO importer, QIO exporter. Yeah, that's sort of what we want, isn't it? <laughs> Hold on. How difficult is this guy to make, the exporter? We can, cr oh, we need stuff that's in this storage. Yeah, so if I check this in there, hold on. And then I go exporter and we craft this stuff. Some ingredients could not be extracted from the network. Retry. Uh, care to explain. Um, filter on insert and extract. Uh, oh, I ordered it again and it appears to have ordered the stuff. So I... Not too sure what's going on, but uh, I think we're good. Yeah, QIO exporter. So, what's the deal with this guy? Well, the concept, as per usual, is I take out our good drive, I get the QIO exporter, and I place it into a, a container of some sort. Um, in terms of the container, <sighs> I don't know what we should do. I think what I do, hold on, I think I know. I think we jump down here. Uh, I place these in here. They shouldn't fill up with anything, at least yet. Then we grab a chest. Ta-da. Uh, you know what? We can actually probably just use like this, for example. Um, this has an uh, import bus underneath it. Is there an import bus I can see? <laughs> that would Arguably, that would make a lot more sense and be a lot easier to manage. But uh, if not, that's fine. I can, ooh, I can fly under here. Why, uh, why am I not hover mode? There we go. Um, so yeah, we've got an import bus here. Awesome. So if I QIO stuff, oh, I should probably place it somewhere a little bit better. If I, hmm, yeah, QIO export, uh, close, frequency, private, storage one, set. He's hooked up. And then the filter, export without filter on. As you can see, it's now going to fill up everything that was in here. So this guy's emptying. Now, the kicker here is we need some acceleration cards. <laughs> um, we need to chuck these in here so that this guy export, or, or, yeah, imports the stuff into our network a lot faster. So that'll go there. And yeah, as you can see, you can do pretty much a stack at a time. So it'll shovel that stuff into our system. Um, taking it out of this guy, which is what I want to do at the moment. And then we'll put in some, uh, some higher tier guys. Um, now, the issue at the moment is it's placing it back into here because he's, I guess, got a bigger priority. So I actually want to lower this priority. Lower priority first. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, so I want to do 10, negative 10, sorry. So now I think we're good. Now it's not stuck in an infinite loop. Now it should actually be draining, which it looks like it is. Awesome. That's, yeah, that's what we want. Um, so wait for this guy to empty. Then we can put in our uh, time dilating one and we're good. Now, now once again, you don't need to do this. I mean, there's so many slots here. You don't need to. I just want to, <laughs> to be completely honest, I just, I just want to. Which reminds me, a few things. First thing is fluorite. Let's go ahead and order about a thousand fluorite. 
that should you know show up pretty quickly. We're going to shove that into the machine to make sure that we're constantly making polonium because I would like to make that higher um, QIO drive, which stores an insane amount of items, like incomprehensible, like scaling upwards here. Um, but we need antimatter and I want to do this, but the antimatter, we're going to need an SPS, which uh, yeah, we need a lot. Someone said, I think I did the math wrong. I need like 9 million. I think that makes sense because it's what it's 1000 time 1000 polonium is one antimatter and we need 1000 antimatter so it's 1000 times a thousand right so we need a lot <laughs> i believe um so yeah we, we sort of want to keep on top of this obviously our reactor is not the most amazing thing in the world it's doing pretty i mean it hasn't blown up um but we are getting polonium pretty slow in terms of uh like each of these polonium pellets that we're getting to be fair each of these are 1000 well, i guess they're not i guess we don't have a thousand of these though do we because that's essentially what it is. We would need a thousand polonium pellets for one antimatter, which is kind of... Is that really? Nah, I think that is. Um, is this guy empty yet? Almost. But anyway, we can pretty much wrap this episode up. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully this one was a lot more educational um, than the last one. This, I mean, visually, I, I do think it looks a lot cleaner. And especially since we know what everything does now. I, I feel a lot more intelligent you know what i mean i feel like what i've actually learned this episode whereas the last episode i was just sort of throwing things around trying to just trying to get something to stick but this bit here the the n not not so much the controller i guess but the translation of okay like the controller works as a good middle ground to wrap my head around things right the small channels are just like like all of these channels here are just middlemen you know what i mean so we have a, we have a system essentially as a little middleman that connects two different wireless connectors and it works pretty well. Uh, I like it. Um, what else do we need here? Uh, this guy, about to be completely empty. He's still, I feel like he, the number goes up sometimes. <laughs> Come on. Empty, completely. Take him out, zero. Chuck this guy in. He currently will empty, but we actually want to stop that now. So we can actually go ahead and turn this off. Cool. Um, and then what we can do is we can flip it around by grabbing these out, which have some stuff in them and chucking them into the system. And there we go. Now it's all in the QIO and we can keep these here as a little bit. Oh, hmm. yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Hold on. We got to chuck these here and then we've got to actually uh, change this again. Bear with me to not be negative 10 and to actually be positive 10 because now this guy is the priority. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful. So now I can put these in here and they still shouldn't fill up, which is awesome. And we've got everything stored in here. How cool is that? I think it's very cool. Um, so, yeah, genuinely, thank you guys for watching. I, I hope I hope this episode did make up for the last one because I feel like we did exactly what we wanted to do this episode. Phenomenally perfect execution. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support in the series and thank you for the really helpful comments on the previous episodes, um, especially in regards to this P2P stuff that was quite mind-boggling. I, I was like reading them and the, the problem is I was reading everyone's comment and it all was like basically the same but it, felt, it was worded differently and it was confusing the soul out of me. <laughs> like I'm reading one, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Then I read the next one, I'm like, oh, hold on a minute. And then I read the next one, I'm like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay, well, I'll look at some pictures. Because people in Discord were sending me pictures as well. But thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys for the helpful pictures. Um, but yeah, oh, we've done it. We've done it. <laughs> we've done it. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you guys for watching. And... I kind of want those vector plates. He won't give us them all, will he? But he'll give us some. Cool, we got four. Awesome. Do we want any of this, lily pads? Nah, not really. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.